Hi, um, welcome to another episode of Zenith Fit um, on my Zenith YouTube channel. Um, today's vlog is going to be short and sweet, hopefully keep it to five minutes or so, okay? I'll get through it nice and fast so you're not wasting too much of your time. Um, today's vlog is actually about hydration, okay, and the key importance of hydration and the symptoms of dehydration, okay? So people in today's society tend to not drink enough water. Um, this is going to try and give you some advice on how you can drink more water and why you need to drink more water, okay? Um, so, first of all, first of all, even, hydration. Good point of hydration is gonna maintain your body's temperature, okay? You drink enough water, you will not overheat, you'll keep your body temperature nice and cool. Um, if you drink cold water, a nice glass of cold water, okay, it's actually gonna decrease your body temperature, your body will force itself to warm up, that's going to speed up your metabolism, which is going to burn fat. So that's like a double-sided coin to the situation, okay? So if you want to try and speed up your metabolism during the day, drink a bit of cold water. Like I said, it'll, your body will try and heat itself up. It will burn some calories, okay? So that's the first point on my hydration part of this section. Next part is going to remove unwanted toxins. Unwanted toxins are going to be things like alcohol, um, toxins from processed food, things like that, okay? So if you continually drink water, it's gonna flush your system out. You're gonna be going to the toilet quite often as it happens, but it's gonna flush your system out. You're gonna remove those toxins. They're not gonna be lingering around inside your body, inside your organs, in your blood, stream, everything like that. So you're gonna flush it out. Your body will thank you for it, believe me. Next up, lubricate your joints. As we get older, the joints are gonna stiffen up, okay? Um, even people, 30s, mid 30s, now they start getting bad shoulders, elbows, hips, things like that. One of the reasons is because you don't drink enough water. So drink enough water is gonna um, create a lubrication in between the joints. You're gonna have a greater range of, mo range of movement even, so that's an ROM. Um, you might have heard me talk about an ROM in some of my written blogs, but it's gonna be a greater range of movement. You're gonna have more freedom to move, to do everyday activities, even things like walking up the stairs, picking up your shopping, lifting up a, ch a child, something like that, okay? So it gives you a lot more freedom to do the things you wanna do, and obviously you'll be pain free, okay? Which is a good point. Fourth point on my hydration list here is you'll feel more energized. This is a big one, I put this one down because I suffer from this quite often. If I don't drink enough water, my energy levels decrease massively. Um, so if I need to, I know if I'm dehydrated because I'm starting to feel a little bit lower. So if I drink enough water throughout the day, then my energy levels stay at a good point and I don't get grumpy. I tend to get quite gr grumpy when I'm dehydrated. So this is a big one for me. Energy levels will stay high throughout the day and you'll be more productive in work, more productive in anything that you're doing throughout that day. Okay, so there are four key points there on hydration and why it's so important. If you don't drink enough water, you become dehydrated. Now, if any of these symptoms, I've got five symptoms down here, if any of these symptoms you are suffering from, then it probably means you are dehydrated, you need to get some water in your system straight away, okay? So first up is your urine is gonna get darker. Your urine, if you are dehydrated, is gonna be a dark yellow color, okay? For hydration, uh, to, be, to be hydrated even, you want to have a clear yellow color consistency to your, water, uh, to your urine even, okay? So if it is yeah, dark yellow, then you are more than likely dehydrated, you need to drink some water. Second point, this is gonna link in with the fourth point, you're gonna have a dry mouth and you're gonna be thirsty, okay? If you, are, if you have either of those, if your mouth is dry, if you are thirsty, then you are already dehydrated again, you need to get some water in your system, ASAP. Then we've got sleepy or fatigue, this links in nicely with the feeling energized in the hydration section, okay? Um, like I said before, I suffer from this myself, if I don't drink enough water, then I feel sleepy, I get tired, my energy levels drop. So I drink enough just to keep on top of that, keeps me buzzing throughout the day, right? So that's a really, really important one for me because you need to have high energy levels to be as productive as possible to make the most out of each day that we're here, okay? Then, final symptom I've got written down here is headaches. Headaches are a key symptom of dehydration. If you have a headache, it could be well be because you are dehydrated, okay? So make sure you drink enough water again. Um, headaches make you feel rough. They can also make you feel sleepy and fatigued. So all of these kind of link in together. And yes, yeah, so drink enough water there and hopefully it will prevent headaches and you'll feel more energized and productive throughout the day, okay? So after all of this, this is very brief, by the way, extremely brief coverage of all this stuff. But after all of this, you're probably asking me, how much water should I drink per day? I recommend you drink three to four liters 
of water a day, okay? So obviously I don't mean all in one go because you'll probably end up throwing that back up and then in turn become dehydrated, which would be obviously against this whole thing. So three to four liters of water a day is what I recommend. I usually buy a litre bottle of water from a supermarket, you can get them anywhere, and I fill it up, like I said, three to four times, okay? So I just sip at that throughout my working day, um, and just keep on top of it so I prevent myself getting thirsty, dry mouth, my urine's always in a clear colour, I don't get any headaches, and I feel energised throughout the day, okay guys? So that's a really, really big one for me, the energy. Um, without water, I'd be in a right grumpy mood all day, okay? so. Make sure you drink enough water, it's such a key point. Three to four liters if you can manage it. If you don't like plain water, you can always um, put a twist of lemon into it, twist the lime into it, maybe a little bit of squash. Stay away from soft drinks. Um, I'm not gonna name any brands. Just stay away from fizzy drinks, things like that. Sports drinks are okay. Coconut water is, apparently has loads of high electrolytes in, so that can be okay as well. But nothing, guys, beats good quality H2O some good quality water, okay? So make sure you get some of that down your, into your system even and prevent dehydration and stay nice and hydrated, guys. Thank you for watching this vlog. It's only my second vlog, so it's probably still not very good. If you've got any comments, leave them below and I'd love to hear them, honestly. If you like this video, click like and subscribe to my channel and hopefully I'll see you again soon.